Hello, my name is Spindemis, and in this video, we're going to be learning about using CSS selectors to style elements. If you want to follow along, the link will be in the description down below. Let's begin. With CSS, there are hundreds of CSS properties that you can use to change the way an element looks on your page. When you entered style color, red, you are styling that individual element, the H2, with inline CSS, which stands for cascading style sheets. That's one way to specify the style of an element, but there's a better way to apply CSS. At the top of your code, create a style block like this. Style uh, open and close with a forward slash. Inside that style block, you can create a CSS selector for all H2 elements. For example, if you wanted all H2 elements to be red, you would add a style rule that looks like this. In between the style open and close, you have an H2, and then you have the curly braces, curly brackets, color colon, red, semicolon. Note that it's important to have both opening and closing curly braces around each element style rules. You also need to make sure that your element style definition is between the opening and closing style tags. Finally, be sure to add a semicolon to the end of each of your elements style rules. Delete your H2 elements style attribute and instead create a CSS style block. Add the necessary CSS to turn all H2 elements blue. So the first thing we're going to do is delete the style inline code. We're going to go above that and we're going to create, as they say, style blocks. So we'll do the open and the close and then we'll do an H2 with a curly brace and we'll do color colon space blue semicolon and that should be that should be it but let's go down to the objectives and just make sure this challenge doesn't have anything else for us to do removed from the h2 inline code you should create a style element we did your h2 element should be blue it is here is where you see it your style sheet h2 declaration should be valid with a semicolon and closing brace we have a closing brace here semicolon there all your style elements should be valid and have closing tags, which means I want this to be closed up. And you have the open and the close there, the forward slash, signifying that it is the closing matching element. We're going to run the test here. And the world rejoices. Okay, good job on this lesson here. Make sure you submit so that you continue on from here you save your progress on your account without that you will actually end up having to redo this one but that's not too too shabby here the uh, CSS selectors to style elements is what we learned good job on that one and I will go to the outro now where I would thank you for watching the video and if you feel this video is helpful or you liked it then click the like button 
If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Finimus, and I will see you next time. Have a good day, everybody.